and we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to bring you some Queen Charge Lalo. I'm going to try to explain what I'm looking for on the base, where I enter the base, how I'm funneling, how I'm getting the Queen through the base, what I'm using to tank, what I'm using to funnel, and everything that I could possibly share with you. So sit tight, buckle up, stay tuned, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Okay, so before we actually get into the video, I want to start off with thanking everybody who's been hitting that like button, hitting that sub button, leaving comments. You personally are helping this channel to grow, so thank you very much. And if you haven't done so already and you do like this video, then make sure you hit the like button, hit that sub button, leave me a comment down below. You never know. You ask me something, you never know. I may just answer you. But now let's talk about this army, Queen Charge Lalo. Here it is over here. Well, first of all... The big question that everybody always asks me is, Avi, what are you doing with two different types of wall breakers? I got regular wall breakers and I also have super wall breakers. So why do I carry both? Well, as I tell everybody, I love using the super wall breaker for the outside wall break. It is the easiest thing. You no know, test wall breaker, you don't have to worry about anything. Nine out of 10 times that wall breaker is going to get the hole open for you. Now, so why, if you love it so much, then what are you carrying regular wall breakers for? Well, the reason why I'm carrying regular wall breakers, I'm carrying regular wall breakers for the secondary wall break, for the secondary layer that I have to get through. And I like to use the regular wall breakers for this reason. Usually when you're, when you're getting into that secondary wall break, you have a lot of defenses that are shooting on you and you're gonna need a rage for your queen anyway. So if you're dropping that rage and you use one wall breaker, that one wall breaker could get the wall open for you under range. So that's the reason why I why I like to use the regular wall breakers because I'm carrying four and potentially I can get through three layers of walls using four regular wall breakers and one super wall breaker. And you'll see some of them throughout these, throughout these uh, throughout some of these replays over here. Now let's get to the next thing that everybody's bugging me about. These, these ice hounds. Yes, I know the ice hounds are 40 troop space instead of 30 troop space. We talked about this in a different video. I absolutely love the ice hounds. I can't tell you how many times the ice hounds that I could say that the ice hound in particular was the thing that got me the triple. Yes, the Ice Hound got me the triple. Why is that? Because it's freezing everything that's around there. The pups that come out are slowing down the defenses as they're shooting at the defenses. You'll see in some of these replays how much this, how much those Ice Hounds do for me. You know, as I told people before, it's like the Ice Hound is a regular hound that carries with him a little freeze potion, and when he dies, he drops that freeze potion and just freezes everything all around that. And, you know, people ask me today on stream, they say, well, Avi, you know, you can have, take two extra loons. And I try to explain that two extra loons is not going to make or break the raid for me. The two loons is not going to turn a two star into a three star. But the Ice Hound can very, very possibly turn a two star into a three star. Now, what else do we got? Let's talk about the funneling troops for this army. The funneling troops for this army are as follows. You have a wizard which is a funneling troop and then you have a baby dragon which is a funneling troop those are your funneling troops but we didn't talk about the supreme funneler somebody said today on stream oh the king is worthless the king is worthless the king is not worthless the king is the garbage man he is the trash man he clears that trash for you you put him down and you don't have to worry about it the king will clear the trash and make a super duper funnel for you. So I highly, highly recommend you getting this out of your head that the king needs to do something more than just clearing trash on the board. Because for Queen Charge Lalo, that is the focus of the king. Although, I'll show you a replay where it turned into a king charge and I ended up getting a triple with a king charge Lalo. Maybe I'll show you this replay. We'll see how long this goes on for. Uh, so what else? So we talked about the, the funneling troops. Uh, we talked about, of course, you got, the, you got the loons here. This is really only 18 loons that you have for this army. Why? Because you got to use a Coco Loon for your healers and you got to use a Coco Loon for your baby D. Very, very important. You, but you don't need more than that. Why don't you need more than that? Because you have your queen. Let, 
Avi, that's a, that's a lot of work. You know, 18 lose, it's not really a lot. Well, I'll tell you like this. Look at, now let's look at the spells. What are you carrying for your spells that your queen is gonna be using? Well, you have rage. You have three rage spells for your queen. That is primarily for your queen. Yes, you can use them for your Lalo, but primarily they are there to keep that queen alive. And then on top of that, you also have three free spells. Those are the spells that you're gonna be using to keep that queen alive. And I'm telling you, if you keep that queen alive through the whole raid, even with a bad Lalo, you will get the triples. But there's one other, there, actually there's two other things that we need to talk about. Those two things are this little girl over here, and this guy over here. These are very, very important when I do my queen charge Lalo. Why? Because as soon, I start off with my queen charge and I get the queen, I get her in to where I want her to go. I use my initial rages, my initial freezes to keep that queen moving through, my wall breaks, keep her moving through. And then as soon as I see that my queen is potentially entering a troublesome area, when those defenses are focused on her, I will bring in my royal champ and or my, my stone slammer, and I use those to help do two things. First of all, to clear some of the defenses while the queen is tanking for them, and then the second thing that the stone slammer is doing is it's also opening up more walls. Try to use that stone slammer where it can open up walls to get the queen through. So now after doing all that, let's go in and let's look at some replay. Okay, so let's talk about what your objectives are with a Queen Charge Lalo. Well, the things that you'd like to focus on to take care of before you release your Lalo is trying to take care of the Queen, the opposing Queen, trying to take care of the opposing Royal Champ, trying to take care of the CC, getting rid of those CC troops, and getting rid of scatter shots. Those are the things that could potentially destroy your Lalo. Of course, if you could take care of any air targeting things, ADs or take care of uh, take care of Archer Towers, Wizard Towers, Expos, anything that could target your loons is good. But those those couple of things, the Archer Queen, the Royal Champ, the CC, those are things that shoot at your at your loons and your loons will not go after. So it's like it's free picking for these things. So now let's look at this attack. And one of the things I want you to notice in this attack is first of all don't be afraid of going after singles you got that's one thing you need to do when you before you do a queen charge lalo is get over your fear of singles you have a ton of spell support for your queen use it and that brings us to the next thing when do i bring in my lalo when do i bring in my supporting my supporting troops for that queen i.e the royal champ and the uh, the stone slammer, I bring them in when my queen is starting to run into trouble. So as you can see over here, I only have one rage left. I have two freezes left, and my queen is meanwhile she's taking care of the of the uh, eagle, and she's got three expos that are firing on her, and the queen is coming towards her. So right away, I got to get that queen up to full health. Now, why did I bring in my royal champ before I brought in my stone slammer? Normally, I'll try to bring them in both at the same time. They work in sync with each other. But the reason why I delayed my Stone Slammer is because I saw that the first defense or the second defense that I was bringing those troops into was going to be an AD. So it doesn't pay to bring in your Stone Slammer right by an AD. So that's why I held off on the, uh, I held off on the Stone Slammer and brought it in after that AD went down. And ideally, if you could take care of two ADs with your queen charge and leave two ADs for your Lalo, that is the best thing. Now, another thing to notice on this, watch this Ice Hound that I'm dying. To. I love this Ice Hound, but it doesn't seem like anybody else loves it. Look at this Ice Hound just freezing things. The little pup slowing that queen down. She is just, she, she just can't do anything. So even in a situation where I did not get the opposing queen and the royal champ and the scatter shots and the CC, still because I have those ice hounds, I was able to sit there and keep those troops frozen or, fr or freeze them or slow them down enough to get the triple. So there's the triple, there's the army comp. Let's move over to another one. 
Okay, so here is the next base. And again on this one, watch how I'm using my Stone Slammer and my Royal Champ in conjunction with the Queen Charge. And when exactly I'm looking to bring it in. So let's zoom in over here. We got the Queen up top over there. I got the King that I call the Super Super Trash Man taking out that trash, doing everything to keep that Queen moving properly. Again, here's the situation. I'm, I'm going up, I'm charging into a single target and a Queen at the same time. But because I have the Rages and because I have those Freezes, it makes this Queen Charge into a single and into the queen, into really nothing. So now let's look at it. Now we got we got the uh, my worst CC, the headhunters and the super minions. They drive me absolutely nuts. So let's talk about the what do you call? It. Let's talk about the uh, the next part of this. This is the initial push of the queen charge as she's taking out the CC and the queen. And now we're looking almost to get into the Lalo. Let's uh, let's start focusing on this Lalo over here. So I got the queen coming in. I'm gonna bring my royal champ in like this again. Not bringing my what? Not bringing my stone slammer in until that AD is gonna go down. But once that AD goes down, once that once that that royal champ goes over and takes care of that ad you're gonna see the you're gonna see the the uh the stone slammer coming right in and doing its thing and helping out that royal champ and one of the nice things about this is the stone slammer when it drops its bombs like that it can activate especially if it's near the town hall it can activate the town hall uh another thing is when you're doing the lalo always if you're low on percentage try to bring in so your minions a little bit earlier get that clean up down because you sometimes you need that extra percentage to activate that town hall so your loons go to the town hall now we got the lalo coming through on the back end and this one we talked about before going going into these bases with multis and with singles now you're in a situation where it's multis and again if you have a, if you have a situation unlike hybrid if you have a situation where you're doing a queen charge lalo and you have a choice for your queen to take out a multi or take out a single. Oh no, I guess it's just like Queen Charge Hybrid. Always have your Queen take out the multi. The multi can do a lot more damage to your loons than a single can. So uh, again, here's the situation. We got everything moving through. Troops are going through. Another triple. Not a lot of loons left over, but again, the Queen is left over with her ability. And if you can keep that Queen alive, you are going to get a lot of triples. Let's double speed through the end of this. And we'll show one more, I promised you, the uh, messed up Queen Charge Lalo that turned into a King Charge Lalo for a triple. So let's get into that one right now. Okay, so here we are on the last attack of the video. And remember in the last one how I told you I hate that CC? And remember how I told you in the last one that this upcoming one is going to end up being a King Charge Lalo? Well, now you'll get a little bit of understanding of why it turned into a King Charge Lalo. Because that super minions are killing me. Let's talk about this, what he called. Uh, one thing over here. Let me just pause this here for a second. I just want to show everybody. Because this comes up a lot. When you have a box like this and you want to sit there and get into the get into th the box next to it, the section next to it. What I do is I put my king, my queen in between in between these defenses and these and this line of defense. And I put my healers back here. Also making sure that you stay away, that your healers stay away from that archer tower and that this archer tower is locked onto your queen also. So now what happens is, after I take out that defense, the queen's going to work on this defense, and my baby D is taking this out, so that's going to get my queen focused that way. And then, now let's hit the replay button. So all this time, I was able to charge into the, the next compartment, but I managed to make a funnel like this, so my queen is not gonna go back. Very, very important. So let's hit that play button. And we're about to bring in the super trash man king going in and clearing the trash. And the king does some work in this one. I told you already this is gonna turn into a king charge. So right now, everything is really, I was very happy with the opening. And that's what happens to me a lot. I'm happy with a lot of these openings until those 
super minions come out. I can't even tell you how many times these super minions are just destroying my raise. So like you can see, I'm bringing in my royal champ to help that queen out to accompany the queen. And there are those headhunters and the super minions which I just can't deal with. I mean, yeah, you did see on the last one, I did deal with them. So I am getting better, but it's just taking some practice. I do not know. I do not know how this, how this ended up getting a triple. I, I have no clue. There is no reason whatsoever. My queen did not take out a lot. She took out the opposing queen and one scatter shot and one AD. And all the rest was left up to my Lalo, my Royal Champ, and my King. I mean, and there's still, there's two multis in here. Don't ask me how this worked. I don't know how it worked. But this is just going to prove to you the power of Queen Charge Lalo, or in this circumstance, King Charge Lalo. Uh, again, you use, uh, like you can see, I mean, I tell you that, I told you that you're, you're using all those support spells for your queen to keep that queen alive. And in a situation where your queen dies out within the first 30 seconds of a raid, now you have all those spells to use on your Lalo. So, I mean, I guess that's how it works and that's how it was done. But this is what I've learned and this is what I've been doing with the Queen Charge Lalo and I'm having a lot of fun. And it is, it, it, it is a difficult army comp to learn and to get good at, but it's very, very fulfilling. You could ask anybody who does Lalo it's very fulfilling when you get a triple using Lalo. Much more fulfilling when you get a triple using Lalo over you know any other ground army. Um, and that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, once again, make sure you're leaving a like, sub, and comments down below if there's anything that you wanna see. And that's gonna be it. Let's stick around, wait for that triple, wait for the army comp, hit that double speed, hit that quadruple speed. There's the triple, there is the army comp, and that is the video. Have a super great day.